In what could mark a return of the assistant minister post, President Uhuru Kenyatta has created the position of administrative secretary with the duties largely undefined. While the 2010 constitution does not provide for the position of assistant cabinet secretary, the president appears to have tried to jump the legal hurdle by creating the position of chief administrative secretary in a move seen as a bid to appease politicians who supported his bid for the presidency. The chief administrative secretary will broadly be responsible for helping the cabinet secretary to better coordinate the running of the affairs of their respective ministries. The beneficiaries of a new created post include immediate former Budalangi member of parliament, Babu Namomba, a one-time sports minister who is nominated to the post of CAS Foreign Affairs. Immediate former Nairobi woman representative, Rachel Shebesh, who will be the CAS Public Service, Youth and Gender. Immediate former Kisumu Central MP, Kenobura, will be the CAS African Corporation and the Northern Corridor. Former Narok West MP and Narok gubernatorial aspirant Patrick Olentutu will be the CAS Interior and Coordination of National Government. Immediate former Tana River Governor Hussein Dado will be the CAS Devolution, while Coast Regional Coordinator Nelson Maro has been nominated to position of Principal Secretary in the Ministry. Former Kisi Senator Chris Obure will be the CAS Ministry of Transport, while former West Pokot Governor Simon Kachapin will be the CAS Ministry of Education. For the efficient operation of government and indeed taking into account the need of having a government that reflects the diversity of our nation and indeed one that can help me deliver on my mandate and pledge to Kenyans over the campaign period. From the announcement, the biggest winners include immediate former Meru Governor Peter Munya, who will be the Cabinet Secretary, East African Corporation and the Northern Corridor. Public Service Commission Chairperson and Member of a Judicial Service Commission Margaret Kobia, who will head the Ministry of Public Service, Youth and Gender Affairs. Foreign Affairs Principal Secretary Monica Juma will replace her boss Amina Mohammed at the helm of the docket. Simon Chelugui, Gideon Moy's biggest challenger in the Baringo Senatorial seat, will be the Cabinet Secretary for Water, while little-known Rashid Achesa has been appointed Cabinet Secretary for Sports, Culture and National Heritage. Royal Media's Chief Operations Officer Farida Karone has been nominated to the post of Cabinet Secretary for Lands. John Munez, former Turkana Senator, Ukuri Atani, the immediate former Marasabit Governor, and Kiriako Tobiko, former Director of Public Prosecutions, all who had been nominated to the Cabinet will head the Ministries of Petroleum and Mining, Labour, Environment and Forestry, respectively. Jubilee Party Secretary General Rafael Tuju has been co-opted into the cabinet on need basis, which means that he will be a cabinet secretary without a substantive portfolio. Nine cabinet secretaries who served in President Uhuru Kenyatta's first term have been nominated for ambassadorial positions. Mining CS Dan Kazungu is headed to Arusha as Kenya's ambassador to Tanzania. Land CS Jacob Kaimeni will be Kenya's representative to UNESCO while Labour CS Phyllis Kandie heads to Brussels as Kenya's ambassador to Belgium and the European Union. Environment CS Judy Wahungu heads to Paris as Kenya's ambassador to France. Sports CS Hassan Wario will be Kenya's High Commissioner to Austria. Health CS Cleopa Mailu will be Kenya's permanent representative to the United Nations, replacing Masharia Kamau, who heads back home as Principal Secretary, Ministry of Foreign Affairs, while Agriculture CS Willie Bett will be Kenya's High Commissioner to India. I thank you very much for your attention. Thank you. John Jacob Curia for Channel One News.